New male birth control method may soon be available. A new type of male contraceptive called Vasagel may be able to provide a reversible and less invasive form of vasectomy. Sperm are transported from the testes along ducts known as the vas deferens. Vasagel is a polymer hydrogel injected into the vas deferens in order to block the path of the sperm. The permeable gel allows seminal fluid to pass while filtering the sperm, which are too large to pass the barrier. Studies show the gel is 100% effective at preventing conception. The procedure can be easily reversed by an injection of a sodium bicarbonate solution. Vasagel is not believed to interfere with sperm production or hormone levels, thus minimizing side effects. Here are more stories on birth control methods. What's sticky, tiny, and made from seaweed? The next big thing in contraception. Women who hate taking the pill may soon have an alternative form of birth control. A sugary substance extracted from seaweed is being used to develop sperm-binding beads that could be used as a form of contraception. With a diameter of only 0.037 millimeters, the beads are so tiny that around 8 million can fit into the space of a small fingernail. When coated with the ZP2 protein typically found covering human eggs, the sticky balls act as a decoy, binding sperm to them and preventing fertilization of the real thing. The ZP2 beads were first tested in vitro and then implanted in mice, where they successfully prevented fertilization for more than two months. But while effective in mice, more tests are needed before the beads can be safely used as a method of birth control. Conversely, the beads can be used in assisted conception by identifying superior sperm that can successfully bind to the egg. The innovative research was recently published in the journal Science Translational Medicine. Newer birth control pills increase risk of blood clot. New research from the University of Nottingham suggests that taking third-generation pills such as Yasmin, Femodine, and Marvalon increases the chance of a blood clot by four times in women who are using these birth control pills versus women who don't take an oral contraceptive. The study was published a few weeks after the death of a teaching assistant, Fulan Kurek, age 21, who collapsed after taking the pill. These third-generation pills were launched in the 1980s, and official concerns were first raised about increased deep vein thrombosis in 1995. Despite the possible side effects, these pills remain popular because they are less likely to cause side effects such as weight gain, headaches, breast tenderness, and hair growth. Blood clots are extremely dangerous because the clots can travel from the leg into blood vessels, which can cause a fatal blockage in areas such as the lung or in the brain, causing an embolism or stroke. The death rate is still low, but some doctors suggest that women who are worried should consider long-acting reversible contraception, such as an IUD, IUS, injection, or implant. $1 injection provides three months of contraception. An agreement between the Gates Foundation, drug company Pfizer and the Children's Investment Fund Foundation will soon make affordable birth control available to women in 69 of the world's poorest countries. The contraceptive injection, known as the Cyana Press, comes pre-packaged with a syringe. The drug is dispensed by squeezing the plastic bubble on the device. The shock can be administered to the arm without extensive medical training. The shot contains a dose of synthetic progesterone that is absorbed and suppresses ovulation for a period of three months. Burkina Faso is the first country to begin the Sayana Press pilot program launched by an organization known as PATH. Niger, Senegal and Uganda are next in line. 